Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, I've got the Graber Post building cam kind of zoomed in. You can see the Wabash River there on the west side of Terre Haute. We'll talk more about the river here in just a little bit, but another thing I was out doing today, back at Conservation Days in Vigo County down there at the fairgrounds, and thanks to Dan and Mallory for helping me. I got a few pictures. Here's one group here. Comes another one up here. Uh, fifth graders from all across Vigo County. We were out there today. Beautiful weather. There's another group here. Comes yet another one. We talked about storms and safety tips, uh, forecasting, different kinds of weather instruments that we use. Here comes another group here. I had about 270 kids today. We had about 400 yesterday. Here comes yet another one. And I'll be back out there again tomorrow talking to more students from Vigo County about weather. The weather looks like it's going to be beautiful as we head out there. I wanted to show you this. Bill Kane sent me a picture back on July 31st. You can see the sandbar here in the river. And if you look real close, there's a bridge right there. That's the bridge going over the river. Sent me a picture yesterday. Look at the sandbar here. The bridge is still there, so it's the same picture, but the sandbar has grown. And the river's pretty low in places. This, again, you can see the bridge here. And look, if you look close, you can actually, and I would not recommend this, but you can see there's some people. There's one here and a couple of them out here as well. So the river pretty low, not only in Terre Haute, but a lot of the area rivers because we just haven't had a whole lot of rainfall. So thanks to Bill for those great pictures. And again, Wabash River, pretty low there in Terre Haute. We've got a big system. Look how big this thing is with the expansive area here with the cloud cover. This is Lee, which we have been tracking for a while. Here's a closer look at it. You can see the eye very well defined here as it continues now more of a north track off to the north. Winds are at 105, so it's still a pretty strong category two. Moving to the north northwest at 10 forecast to continue that north track gets close to the northeast. It will definitely have an impact, but it looks like it's main landfall. It's probably going to be up here close to Maine or maybe into Canada. That would be coming up on Saturday when that would happen here at home. Beautiful weather. Temperatures in the upper 70s today. We had 78 for the high. Look what happened though. Back in 1939, we hit 102 for the record high. It was 48 this morning. We'll be close to that again tomorrow morning with some cool overnight lows. No rainfall. And I showed you the pictures of the river. It's been pretty dry out there. We've only had 0.58 inches here so far for the month of September, at least here at the TV station. And the Wabash River, there it is in Terre Haute right now being reported at about three and a half feet and stationary. So here's what we're tracking then. Cool weather again tonight. Mild temperatures will continue. Very nice weekend. Maybe a few clouds Saturday. And then warmer weather comes in next week as we're going to get back a little bit above normal, it looks like. At the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 78 right now. We get that north wind at about, oh, 8 miles per hour. So pretty nice out there. Here's the Crossroads Cyclecast projected for 7 o'clock. 75, a north wind. Nice evening going. You can see the temperatures are pretty much in the 70s out there right now. Water vapor satellite, dark indicates dry. That's dry air across this area. There's not much to show there as far as cloud cover. We have a few little clouds that have been drifting in during the course of the day today, but they're not producing anything. Locally, there's nothing showing up on the Dorsa Automotive Doppler radar at all. So overnight, again, watch for a little patchy fog here or there. That's really going to be it. Tomorrow as we head through the day, a lot of sunshine, much like today. Tomorrow night, also good. Even as we head into the day Friday, again, you just don't see much. The weather pattern is calm. It's pretty nice for us, other than the fact we could use some rain. Things are looking pretty good as we take you through the next few days. So forecast goes like this for tonight then. Looking at partly cloudy, maybe a little patchy fog dropping down to about 49, much like last night. Tomorrow, sunshine comes back. Another mild day with highs climbing back into the mid to upper 70s. We'll call it about 77. Right after that, the forecast looks good for the weekend. Dry weather, a few more clouds on Saturday, but overall temperatures are nice. It will warm some next week, by the middle of next week, back in the mid 80s.